Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, we are obviously here in the house, in the new house. So I wanted to give you guys like a little update on what has been going on. There's still a ton of work to do. We still don't have our floors. <laughs> Starting to panic because we have one week. As of today, we have one week until our furniture gets delivered. So I have like my eyes twitching. <laughs> like it's just, there's a lot of chaos, but I'll show you around because we have done a few things. Everything in the house is absolutely filthy. Like look at all of this dust. Like there's dust everywhere, but we got our new stove in. So that was like, is this even focusing? I don't even know if it's focusing. We have our new stove in, which is great because the stove that was here before was absolutely gross. So we got a new one. Um, we still like, there's some stuff we have to like set up with it, but we did have an issue with it, fun fact. So the old stove that they had here, when they built these cabinets or when they built like the countertop and the kitchen or whatever, Basically, like long story short, they built it around a stove that had like a lip that like went over the cabinet. So when this one was delivered, it literally did not fit in the slot. So we had to like hire a contractor guy who came and like shaved off a little piece of the countertop. Like he shaved it. So that way the opening would be bigger and this would fit. So we were dealing with that last week. That was not exactly fun, but now at least we have our nice new stove. We still don't have paint down here on the first floor, but they've been painting on the second floor, so that's progress. But look at, like, this. Is, these are all the floors. Like, we also took down the blinds that the house had because the blinds had, um, like, they were, like, falling apart. We ordered some new blinds. Those aren't here yet. But we have, like, holes in all the walls. They've been patching. So, like, all of these things here, like, things that, um, the painters are trying to patch and like make them nice and flat. So yeah, super fun. In the garage though, um, we did get our mini split installed. So that was like the biggest thing. Um, we wanted the AC to, um, we wanted to like insulate the garage. So Joe did the insulation panels, which I think I showed you on, in a vlog. If not, I showed you on Instagram, but he had bought like insulation panels. So those are all in the, in the garage doors to make it cooler in here. But then we also had the mini split put in. And then this thing is, is what? Is that the Wi-Fi or, or what is that? Home network. Home network thing. It's like the cords and the cables, internet security stuff. So that was put in today. All of this is stuff that was upstairs in like um, our old, or not our old, but like in the closets upstairs. These are the laundry room cabinets that we're just gonna get rid of. Eventually we'll put new cabinets upstairs, but all of this we brought downstairs. That way Joe can put it in his truck bed and then we can just like toss it in the dump because like some of this stuff is like in really bad shape. But these were like all the, like the organizers and stuff that they had in the closets and look at like all of the dust and all of the things. But yeah, it's just been a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff that's taking a lot of time. Like they're taking a long time to paint the upstairs of the house, which I'll take you up now, but they're still working. Um, because the previous owners of this house, there were so many holes in the walls. <laughs> like my contractor jokes and he's like, this was the house of Woody Woodpecker. Like there were holes from like things that were hung and things that were like pseudo patched over and like the walls were not in good shape. So since we were painting and we're painting them white, they're, you know, doing a thorough job of trying to cover all the holes and give us like a nice flat surface. So it's taking longer than expected to paint. But they're painting like the ceilings. They've been painting the ceilings. We got some new recessed lights in. I think at this point, those are pretty much done. You have to fix a couple things here and there, but that's done. But painting the ceilings, painting all the walls, painting like the trim, and then after the floors have been put in, then they can paint the baseboards. But we're just trying to get them to finish painting upstairs so that the floor guy can get in and start working on the floor. But everything is dirty. Like poor Mimi. Mimi's here today. She's helping me um, clean the vents that were um, up in the ceiling, like the air vents, before they put them back up in the in the ceiling. My mom has been like outside with a toothbrush cleaning them because like this is an older house. It's not a brand new house but also like it wasn't clean very well. So poor Mimi now is like over there and like trying to help me clean and like last week she was over here cleaning the kitchen and cleaning my cabinet so at least we can start putting stuff in the cabinets. I can't do a whole lot you guys because this is the state that I am in, 32 weeks pregnant. 
And I am in my, uh, I showed you guys on Instagram, I'm in my pregnant contractor era over here. It's my little onesie thing. I had ordered this onesie. I had tried to not order it because it's like the very like basic thing that everybody buys when they are pregnant these days. And I bought it and I was like, let me try it on. I tried it on, I hated it. I was ready to return it. Like this morning it was in a pile by the front door for me to return it. And then I tried to get dressed and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put on the freaking contractor outfit, like my little overall thing because I have nothing else that fits. So yeah, that's what the situation is like. And I wish that I could do more. Like I see stuff around the house and I'm like, I want to be cleaning up garbage and I want to be organizing things. I want to do all the things, but also like I can't even breathe properly because like the baby is like sticking its entire body into my lungs. So I am having a hard time like doing stuff and I have to like take more breaks and like just sit. But anyway, let me just take you guys upstairs really quick. I don't know if you guys remember, but this whole space was blue before. It was like blue walls. It was super dark and depressing and we just wanted to brighten up the space. So this has all now been painted. We went with Simply White and the color looks different like in different, um, you know, in different lights and stuff, but I do like it. And this is Joe just still taking more stuff down that was upstairs in the different rooms. But just changing up the paint here has been like, just like a huge improvement. And then let's see what else I can show you. This is like the stairway, like hallway, whatever. Um, we used to have like a lamp that hung down there. We're gonna be covering that up and then we're just gonna have the two recessed lights here. So they did put in the recessed lights. And then this is just the state of the house, but all the walls are now white this is like a little linen closet that they even painted in there they've been painting all the doors so all the doors are over here being painted which these doors were also not in the best condition so i'm actually glad that they've been brought back to life and then same with like the closet doors We've got the closet doors that are being painted which is really good. And then this is one of the bathrooms. This used to have like one of the builder grade, what's it called, um, builder grade mirrors. So we took that out. I'm gonna replace it with one of the mirrors that I had in the old house. So they were nice and they, you know, removed the mirror for us so that way they could paint the whole thing the white color. They took out the washer and dryer because they were painting the laundry room. So everything is just totally all over the place, but they're doing a great job. And then this is still stuff in our master that we're taking down to the dump. What are they doing in your closet? I don't know. I don't know. They're in here. This is going to be Joe's closet. We put recessed lights also. I wonder what, does that one not work? I don't know. Okay. Well, at, so, at some point we'll have to figure out what's up with the lights. But this is simply white here in our master. In case you want to just like see the color. I like the color of the wall. Do you like it? I think it's really nice. But yeah, that's kind of like the state. Um, this is some of the stuff in my closet. But all of the, the walls have been painted. And then we installed also the recessed lights up top. Remember we removed like all the popcorn ceiling from the top. So yeah, um, they definitely haven't stopped working. I mean, I think they've been doing a really good job. It's just a lot for them to do. So trying to be as patient as I can. All right, guys. So we are back at the temporary house. It is like four o'clock. No, it's closer to five o'clock. We spent quite a bit of time at the house today, but at a certain point, it's like not being productive here. Like I can't really contribute all that much and the kids were going crazy. So I brought them home so I can just like lounge here on the couch because I am really tired. Let's see if I can just like position my camera over here so I can talk to you guys while I'm kind of like laying sideways. But yeah, I think all in all, I'm pretty happy with the progress that has been made on the house. Considering that it hasn't even been a whole month since we closed, I think we've been able to like, you know, get the contractor and get all the people like lined up, like all the things that we've needed to do, buying the floor, getting the paint, getting the paint done. I'm like really happy because I didn't think that that was gonna even be like a fraction of a possibility, to be honest. I thought that very much a lot of this stuff we were just gonna have to wait until we got moved in. So this is a huge, um, just like stress like off of my back, I guess. Even though like there's plenty of stress still there. <laughs> there's plenty of still stress because there's so much that we still have left to do. But I'm gonna be really happy once this stuff is done. So today the painters were there finishing upstairs. 
then they told me that tomorrow they're gonna start painting the downstairs area which isn't it shouldn't take them as long because downstairs it's not like there's a million rooms and it's like nowhere close to the amount of work that they had to do upstairs upstairs they had all the doors and stuff and then after that i think on friday they're gonna try to start the floor installation and then next week uh on wednesday is when my floor is gonna be delivered so that's kind of like the timeline and why things like you know we've been kind of panicky about like are we gonna be able to get this done i'm not getting my hopes up that all of the floor upstairs will be like fully installed and put in by the time that our furniture gets there but if at least like maybe one or two of the rooms can be done then we can like put some of the furniture down in those rooms and then like move stuff around while they finish the floors like i was telling you guys at the house we were able to get like certain things set up like that mini split project that was a project that you know joe wanted to get set up for the garage in the future he has plans to like you know do like the floor like you can get like a nice floor in the garage or do like the epoxy floor um and to like paint the walls like to get it looking nicer but that's very low on my priority list so we're gonna wait a little bit before we do that and then we got a lot of stuff done like on his end on like the it end like getting wi-fi set up like really good fast wi-fi because obviously i need good wi-fi for what i do here we also got like some wiring stuff done for like security cameras and like some other things that he wanted to be able to do that's like just techy kind of stuff which i fully don't understand but i was like okay fine like if you're gonna do it like we might as well just do it now so anytime that i've shared like these projects and stuff with you guys on instagram i've been trying to keep you guys posted on like how much those things have costed us like how much that th these projects cost not because i'm trying to be like oh you know look how much money we're throwing at this house because it's been disgusting how much money like things cost like things are expensive um but because like i didn't know what any of these kinds of projects cost and i think it's kind of nice to have like a benchmark of like this is what somebody else paid for certain things so you're not totally getting screwed if you get a quote from somebody for something for the mini split to give you an idea that project was about a two thousand dollar project because between buying the mini split and paying the guy to install it like he purchased it for us and installed it he charged us two thousand dollars so maybe you think that's a lot maybe you don't think that's a lot but that's what that project cost and then i had told you guys about the recessed lights that they charged me like 95 dollars a light for painting what we got charged was 1900 dollars for painting upstairs and then another 1900 dollars for painting downstairs again i'm not sure if you think that's a lot or a little bit when we moved into our house in virginia when um we moved into the house we had the entire inside of the house painted and we had our white cabinets painted and for that project we paid over a little over six thousand dollars at the time i was like okay i guess that's normal i think i don't know we were we were probably overcharged and then it was funny because one of you guys or one of you guys that i talked to on instagram one of you guys reached out and you asked me like exactly this like how much did they charge me for painting because she was telling me that she has a 2300 square foot house and she just got a quote for interior painting and they were quoting her twenty three thousand dollars for um uh for painting the inside of her house so I was like shook it. I was like, please, I hope to God that you do not pay $23,000. That seems like a lot. So she was like getting another quote. But sometimes like, I, I, I guess like people don't like to talk about this kind of stuff because it's like about money and it's like you're being nosy or whatever. Then you're all up in everybody's like financial business and stuff. But I think that it can be helpful because like sometimes you just don't know what things cost. Like. To get the guy out for the counters to like do that little shaving thing for the stove that i told you guys about he charged me 150 dollars just to do that that was not an expense that i was counting on and then the floors i have to go back and look in the invoice but i think that in price alone for the floors like between labor and the cost of the floor that we chose we chose a floor that i think if i'm not mistaken was like four in the four dollar range per square foot but between labor and the floor cost i think it was over 10 grand so that's what we were looking at like for the floor for all upstairs plus the stairs so like we're rebuilding the stairs too but yeah projects like that are expensive and that's why the other day in the vlog that i posted i was like you know like i'm not used to having like all these expenses and paying all this money like out of my pocket for these things like i, I save a lot of money i'm not used to spending it all 
but um, I do feel good knowing that we'll be able to like enjoy these things for a long time. Like these are projects that we're investing in and maybe we'll never make this money back. Like I'm not going into these projects like, oh, like we're trying to flip this house or we're trying to make a bunch of money on this house. Like for all we know, the market could freaking crash and I will never see a dime of this money again. But while we are in this home, at least it'll be functional for us and hopefully you know the house will be good to us and it'll help us you know while i'm there with raising my family and stuff so that's kind of how i'm trying to look at things so yeah definitely just keep us in your thoughts and stuff because next week is going to be crazy joe was able to go to the dump today he called me just now um because he was still at the house he was able to go to the dump um and take a bunch of stuff so there there are places where maybe every state is different but i know here in miami dade like there's different um, what do they call them like waste and recycling or trash and recycling centers you can take stuff to so he just like filled up his pickup truck with some of this stuff and took it but next week is just gonna be pure chaos we'll have a bunch of stuff to still clean and then when all of our stuff comes in on Wednesday they're just gonna be unloading boxes and boxes and as much as like I'm super grateful that again the moving company with Joe's work like the moving company takes the boxes out of the moving truck puts them in our house um, that's super helpful like I still have to open up all of the boxes and put stuff where it belongs So when that happens, I'll definitely make sure <laughs> to show you what the chaos looks like because I'm not looking forward to it These kids are like going crazy because it's like flooding Okay, it's yes, but it's fine. Hey, um now that I'm looking at it. We ordered blinds too We had to order blinds for the house. We didn't order full blinds like for the entire upstairs and downstairs We started with downstairs with um two of two or three of the windows downstairs that was another expense that we weren't like i didn't go into like buying a house thinking i'm gonna have to get all new blinds that like there's been a lot of things that have come up with this house that again it was one of the best houses we saw but as you go like seeing what the house looks like and what it needs sometimes you can be like oh okay actually i didn't know that there were all these holes in the wall and i didn't know <laughs> that you know they were gonna take their blinds with them things like that that have just popped up so point of the story is that buying a new home it's exciting it's fun it's so i'm super looking forward to it but it is so stressful in all aspects financially emotionally physically and like god bless joseph who's taken like the brunt of it and mimi who's been there to help like every step of the way like she has been a godsend and she has been just such a blessing and like she comes <laughs> she comes to my house she has like the little toothbrush and she's like cleaning the other day she was at my house and she was cleaning like you know like the window tracks like the there's like a little window above the sink in the kitchen and that that track had never been cleaned and so she was there with like a little toothbrush scrubbing it and i'm like thank you lord for making my mom as ocd crazy as she is or whatever because i do not want to be cleaning that so she's been a huge help and then today with the with the air vents she was doing a great job cleaning but she's stressed i'm sure with all the things that she has to help with or that she wants to help with and then joe is stressed because he's got to do all of the labor intensive stuff and then me i'm stressed because i'm thinking in my brain of like all the things that i have to do to get prepped for like being in the house and this baby and then physically my body is like shutting down on me and it's like you just need to lay on the couch so i'm doing my best to be like backseat driver like director but it's it's still stressful i was saying that on instagram that i like the hardest part is that i feel like i'm so useless like i feel like i want to be doing things and i feel so useless at this stage and then somebody messaged me and she's like are you freaking kidding me like i moved when i was eight months pregnant and i love that i didn't have to do anything so maybe i could look at it that way but like i'm just there's just too much going on and i feel like i want to be hands-on i want to get things done and then I'm frustrated when I can't. But anyway, that's like a little update on the house. I'll let you guys know how things go next week. And then I do still plan on doing like a sit down, just talking about the process at some point. Cause that process was also stressful. Like the actual house hunting, what is in, like what is, what goes into purchasing a home. All of that is pretty intense, but this is like the, the hard part, like physically, you know. So anyway, that is gonna be it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update and seeing the house and lots more stuff to come i see a bunch of water what? i was like it was a bunch of water it was like a whole it was like a teeny weeny creek it was a teeny weeny creek outside i would really love to get out there it's raining yeah it's raining i it won't get struck by lightning. 
Okay. But anyway, yes. Thank you for being here. I love your faces. Um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.